Hey guys, so this week's nail tutorial is going to be the final Halloween one for this year. Um, I've had loads of fun doing them, they're um, great to do. And um, the look we're going for this week is pumpkin related. And it's going to be to recreate this look here. Um, the ring finger has a pumpkin face on and the others are not cobweb like but I don't know it reminds me of Halloween I think it's just because it's orange and black but that is what we're going to be doing today um so keep watching and I'll show you how to get this look okay so I've already painted the base color which is this one from OPI it is orange I think it might be showing up a little bit pink in this um, video but um I can't remember what it's called I know it was in the bright um pack that came along in the summer from OPI so but any bright orange will do um, that you have there so pop on your base coat of this one and then to create like the not really cobweb but sort of a that kind of style I've used the black shatter from OPI so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on my nails So the next two things that you're going to need um, are a green nail art paint and a black one. Um, and as you can see I have left the ring finger um, clear of the shutter and that's the one that we're going to paint the pumpkin onto. Now I have to apologise in advance, I am not the best pa pumpkin painter. So um, it really doesn't matter, you can either make it as advanced or um, simple as you want. But the idea is you're just going to draw on your eyes and a mouth of some sort. And if there's space, because for some people your nails might be quite little, you then put in a nose if you want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw on two triangles I think. And that will be my eyes. But be as creative as you want to. Um, some people I know do all sorts of designs in their pumpkins. So um, if you think you can do it, go ahead. And then once you've done the eyes, you're just literally going to do the mouth. And again, depending on how small your nail is, depends on how much detail you can get in. And then, because there is a tiny bit of space, I'm just going to pop, like, a bit of nose. But I'm just going to do that as a line, I think. So that is my pumpkin face. And then to make the sort of very top detail, we're going to use the green nail art pen. And we're just going to pop that along the top in a little triangle. And you're just literally going to pop a little bit there. We don't want too much because we don't want it to look like a carrot. And that is your little jack-o'-lantern or um, pumpkin face there. So once they've all dried, then pop on some top coat, which will give them a nice shine. And we'll also make the orange stand through the black a little bit better on the shimmer, on the shatter, sorry. And um, yeah, be careful to just let the pumpkin dry off, otherwise you'll smudge his eyes and details. So that's it. That is the final nail tutorial of um, Halloween series this um, year. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it all. And um, if you're wondering why I have this makeup look on, um, this is my Vivo competition entry. So um, a video for that will be up shortly. And um, I hope you guys give this a go for your nails and or any of the other tutorials I've done this season. Uh, but if you do, please send some pictures. I would love to see. And I hope you have an amazing Halloween. And I'll see you soon. Bye.